I hope this is working. Um, this is probably going to be my first only and last vlog I ever do because even just figuring out how to record stuff on my Mac was like really hard. Whatever. Anyway, I wanted to make a vlog because... I feel like I was, I was, I was wanting to write something, right? Like I have a lot of like stuff in my head that I want to get out, but like, I feel like I couldn't like appropriately like get my tone and my point across in words only. So here we are. I'm blessing you with my beautiful face. Anyway, before we jump in, I feel like it's weird to like not address the uncertainty that everyone is feeling. Everyone's sense of like normalcy and security is kind of just like gone it's up in the air right now right and that is super scary it's really freaky um i just keep thinking about people what are people gonna do and what is normal gonna look like after this i want to like take action but there's not much more that we can do other than like keep ourselves away from others which sometimes isn't like the healthiest thing to do um i'm really like it's sad and I don't want this to be super negative so we're gonna move on I'm basically making this to tell you how I'm using my time while I'm this is so movie basically I'm gonna use this to tell you how I'm using my time um, while I'm working from home for three weeks and I'm in my room and I got a nice desk set up and everything, I'm going to tell you how I'm using my time. As many of you know, I am a huge list maker. This is just the lists that I've made for the past three days. I also have like 8 million different kinds of lists. I have my goal book, my journal. I also have my post-it note wall which we will get to in a second. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had another list. My quarantine list of all the things I want to do while I'm in quarantine. You might ask me, Kenzie, why do you make so many lists? And I will tell you, viewer, I make lists because it gets all of the ideas that are floating around up in here on paper that way they're not taking up space in my brain that I could use for other things like um, logic and reason. So what I'm doing with a lot of the time that I have to spare now is taking a look at what I want, what I've said I wanted to do this year and taking a realistic look at my life and ask myself like, okay, am I doing the stuff that's gonna get me to where I wanna be? Mm. But basically on the reason I made this post-it note wall was because I got accidentally drunk one night and wrote everything that I wanted to do this year down on post-it notes and stuck them on my wall. And every time that I, you know, accomplish a goal up there, like one of my goals was to like take a hip hop class downtown. I would write it on a post-it note and then I would do the thing that I'd said I'd do. So I took a hip hop class downtown and then I would take a Polaroid picture of something that would remind me of me taking that hip hop class. So this is a really crappy picture. I don't know why I took this one, but like it's a Polaroid of me in a mirror after I took the hip hop class. Let me see if I can find a better one. Like this one was go to the Starbucks rotisserie. And Did I say rotisserie? Anyway, we went to this big Starbucks in Chicago for my friend Brittany's birthday with um, our friend Nina. And this is a really cute picture that came of it. Just like us holding our drinks and like them smiling in the background. So um, that was one of the things I wanted to do this year. So I would take that off my wall and then I'd put up a picture to replace it. But there are some goals up there that aren't possible right now. Like one of them is to plan an out of country trip and that's not possible right now but some of them are totally like within my control right like I want to run a half marathon I've never competed in a half marathon before and I want to do it I want to train for half marathon so eventually I can get to a marathon right now I can honestly say that I'm not doing anything to train for it um which kind of sucks because yeah I work out and I like run a lot but I eat like crap and you gotta eat healthy to like be an athlete I guess with all this time off, I'm like saying, okay, like what can I do better to like motivate myself 
to like live a healthier lifestyle and what can I do to make living healthier a priority and that's something that I'm really focusing in on on these next few weeks so I can create a habit while I'm home and I don't get caught up in like my commute or like my busy schedule I'm taking a step back to like reevaluate how I'm actually doing and then like putting like actions in place that I can like actually do and um get to where I really want to be and do what I really want to do. I don't know. I've always been kind of like an optimist and this situation is like really freaky and weird and just like unusual. Like I've never been in this before. I don't think a lot of people have. And I have so many conspiracy theories about it. Oh my gosh. I have so but that's another story. I'm just trying to keep a positive attitude. I'm trying to use this time to my advantage. And I know it's easier said than done, especially when Physically, I feel like everything's fine, but like mentally, I'm at like a nine on panic mode right now, but everything is going to be okay. And hopefully doing some of the steps and one, getting it out on paper and two, taking actions on the things that I really want to do will help me. And hopefully this kind of helps you. I don't know. I don't even know how to end like my own blog post. So how am I supposed to know how to end a vlog? Okay, here's how we'll end it. We'll say that lists are awesome use the time that you have now to be productive do something healthy and also check in on other people we gotta we gotta stick together so i'll see you next time but not in video format bye <laughs>